it's very difficult for me to pinpoint one particular experience and single it out as the best. Uh, because each one has been different and some have been wonderful, some have not been wonderful, some have been downright awful. But I don't regret a single one because I took them all out of choice. All the acting jobs I've done, um, whether in cinema or in theatre or in television. Some have worked out well and some have not worked out well, that is also true. I can say with a clean conscience that if they didn't work out well, it was not for want of any effort on my part. One thing I have not ever been smug about is my ability to get work as an actor. Uh, because when I started, I knew that uh, it would all depend on what I brought to the table. And I didn't have a lineage. I didn't have uh, looks like Shami Kapoor. I didn't have uh, a rich father who could support me in definitely, who could produce movies for me. I knew that I would survive only if I knew my job. And so I went about learning it from, from a pretty early age. From about 14 or 15, I think I, I started actually training myself in reciting poetry and memorizing speeches and, uh, you know, trying to recreate accents I'd heard or imitating the newsreaders or something. I thought if anything else, I can become a newsreader maybe. And I, I will have to say that the greatest experience I've ever had, and, and I've had some wonderful ones, was the time I first went on stage because that was the seminal one and that was the one which changed my life, which, which made me reassess myself and which, which made me uh, uh, grow up in my own eyes and grow in my own estimation. Um, it was when I was in class nine in a school in Ajmer, St. Anselm's Higher Secondary School and I got together a bunch of friends and we did a play and before that uh, I'd always had a problem being accepted, you know, anywhere, even at home. Uh, my, my two older brothers were involved, interested in other things. I was obsessed with cricket and with movies. My parents I had very little communication with anyway. So for me, it was a great high to be on that stage that day and to have a bunch of people who so far had been very judgmental actually listening to me and responding approvingly. It was the greatest high I've ever felt. I continue to feel a similar high every time I'm on stage, uh, which is why I love the stage so much and, and, and I owe it a debt I can never repay perhaps. Uh, but nothing can match the euphoria of that day.